from the deep brush customization tools to naturalistic and flowing watercolors, oil paints, dusty, bristly charcoal, pastel, uh, fluent feeling brushes and realistic pencils. This is the software package to challenge all software packages. This is a juggernaut digital painting tool. This is my review of Rebel 6. Welcome to my review of Rebel 6. Uh, in this background, you'll see me painting everything under the sun. These are just sample clips sped up so you can kind of see me exploring as I learn a little bit more about this software through each painting experience. I'm not so much going to talk about what I'm painting or how it's working or this, you know, this or that related to the specific painting. Uh, instead, I'm just going to let the, the paintings run and I'm just going to talk about what it feels like to use Rebel, how I'm experiencing it, what is it like compared to the previous versions, what am I noticing about it as a creative person trying to use it in my workflow. So I firstly want to start out with a, a comparison um, between Rebel 5 and Rebel 6. In this sixth version we have a lot of upgrades to the fluency, speed, responsiveness, reliability. Um, the software is fast and furious. Um, I used to really feel like it was taxing my, my hardware a little bit. This time, no, I feel like I can paint as fast and quick and energetically as I want to, and the brush just flies across the digital surface. And that digital surface um, is wonderful. It's like it always has been. It, 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 it has texture and bump maps, and it allows the bristles to interact with the canvas in a realistic way. Um, as you can see in the video I was just showing, there's... Uh, a whole brush creation process where I refine, 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 refine until I finally figured out what I wanted to do and what I wanted to get with my brushes and was able to create a whole set of brushes that worked marvelously. Um, brush creation in this software is a lot like Photoshop, um, but the the overall effect is somewhere between, say, sort of like a Photoshop and Art Rage. You get the wet media realism dripping, mixing, interacting um, that you get with ArtRage, but you get the hyper level of control and detail that you get with Photoshop. So it's in many ways a kind of um, best of both worlds. I think Rebel has won me over with this version of their software as they continue to incrementally update, not just as we talked about the fluency, efficiency, and um, stability of their product, but the features that come along with that, the, um, the way that the, uh, the tools work, the way that they interact, the way that they have matured, the way that um, they now uh, rival everything out there. Um, Rebel has, has become an in, indispensable product. It's, it's a must-have digital painting software. It's always been fantastic, and it's always been really fun, and there was always nothing like it when it came to its watercolors and, and just the way that it puts all the pieces together. But for me, someone that loves the oil painting and that oil painting process, I find that um, Rebel is, is meeting the need. And uh, I have still got a deep love for Art Rage and of course for Photoshop, um, but it's at the point now where I have to also include Rebel in my list of top softwares. There's just no way around it. Um, as you can see in this painting, the look and the feel, the the way that the canvas comes to life, um, this is the way I want my paintings to look. And with Rebel, I can get that outcome that I want. And then I can even go further with the really, really neat tools that they have for wet media and letting the, the you know, just putting like literal water on your canvas and digital water and letting it interact in ways that are so realistic. There are things that you can do with this software that are just not possible with Photoshop and just not possible with ArtRage. And I think um, there are differences and there are obviously qualities that both Photoshop and ArtRage have that maybe Rebel doesn't. And, and that's okay. It's about learning what each one does and how it does it and how it, you know, how, how it's going to help you with your creative process. So um, I, I would say that if, if you, you know, needed to just buy one piece of software and you had a good solid machine, um, you know, good, 
good, good, powerful desktop, good, powerful laptop, you could easily confidently pick Rebel and not feel like you're losing something or, or missing out on something. I think if you don't want to get into subscription models and you want to stay away from Photoshop for that reason, absolutely. I mean, even here with the liquify tool, um, the advancements with that are, are marvelous. It's, it's just, again, every kind of complaint, every kind of, um, worry, uh, they've been addressed. I remember in the previous versions, I was talking about how reference images, there was only uh, room for one and then boom, automatically they've got uh, multi image references that are available. So it just, that was a huge thing. Um, we talked about, uh, performance and efficiency and, and, you know, what kind of machine you need to run it and then boom, you know, they work on that. And now they have this, uh, nano pixel export where you can basically use like kind of like an AI export to, to pump up the pixels as you export a file and it works. It's, um, it's amazing. So not just that, I mean, I think that the, the performance in general, even on working on a large canvas is good and it doesn't have the same compromises that it used to. So I think that they've got the, the, you know, the, the brush engine and the performance where it needs to be, they've got stability where it needs to be. And they have, um, the feature set where it needs to be to rival all the big guns out there. Um, Rebel is, is a legitimate contender for top digital painting software um, in the world right now. And that is remarkable. So I just wanted to say hats off to those guys and, and talk a little bit about, about just maybe some of the other tools outside of painting. Cause I mean, I could sit here and just oil paint all day and talk to you about that. But I think um, one of the things I wanted to make sure I did was play with the other tools, pastels, chalk, pe uh, pencil, ink, and I really love the charcoal. The charcoal is, is it's like painting with real or drawing with real charcoal. It's very good. It's very efficient. It's very um, reminiscent of the real thing. Um, I'm just drawing, you know, character out of my head here and playing with light and shadow and using the smudging and the blending and the, and then, you know, like the, the different features, basically uh, whether you're using a drawing tool or a painting tool, there's like just the paint mode. There's like full paint mode. Then there's paint with a little bit of mix mode. Then there's paint and mix kind of half and half, 50, 50. And then there's mostly blend mode, right? And then there's erase mode. And these are just little buttons you click. So you get your tool, get your color, you get your brush head and you go to work. And if you want to start, you know, with just laying in some paint, laying in some pigment, great. And then you go into the next mode, which is pigment with a little bit of blending and then down to mostly blending, etc. That those little clickers, and you can see them on the bottom of the, the UI there, um, over on, on the right, uh, on the left hand side. It's just fascinating how well they work. Um, I found that just playing with these tools was incredibly intuitive and figuring out a workflow was, was really, really fun. So in my videos to come, what I'm going to do is talk about that workflow, talk about my brush creation, talk about, um, you know, how this all works, how it fits, what's going on and why, why I work this way. So, um, here's a, a painting of my wife and, uh, you know, of course they got to get a painting of her in there. And I just was like, just looking for images in my resource folder that just had some good, strong lighting. And I thought, well, this would be a really nice to paint. Just wanted to think about her. And, um, I kind of like to do oils in a way that are a little bit drier, almost like a dry brush oils. I like to use like a flat and I like to use, you know, um, kind of stiffer bristled paint brushes. And I like to really get texture when I put the mark down and that's what I can get here. I have a whole set of custom brushes that work perfectly for that. I think what I'm going to do is release them, um, uh, upload them to my Domestica class so people that are doing that class with Rebel can have access to those brushes. And I think it's just going to be a blast. Um, as you can see, the the look and the feel that you get from this kind of with this software, with this kind of brush, with this the way that they, the, the, the tools blend, it's, it's just fantastic. So um, it is a little bit more complicated, though, than like ArtRage is kind of just pick up and play. Um, with ArtRage, I feel like I can just grab their default oil brush and I'm in it and I don't have to really even fiddle with it one setting and I think that you get really strong outcomes. With Rebel, it's the same, but it's also a little more complicated. I mean, I, I found that the the kind of 
look and feel I wanted, I still needed to get in and make my own brushes. And maybe, you know, maybe someday they'll be like, hey, Daniel, we'll, we'll partner with you to, to put your brushes in the software as default brushes. And I'd be so excited about that because I think um, there's a sort of way that I want the, the tool to work. And, and I didn't find it to be like any of the presets to be just like what I wanted, but I did find it to be very, very easy to get what I wanted from the, my own custom tools. And I'm the same way with Photoshop. I'm not, I've, you know, you know, using the the default round brush in Photoshop is awesome and it's fun, and I love goofing around with that and painting in that and doing stuff with that. But when I when I sit down and say I want to do my thing, that's not the tool I use. I don't use, I don't even use any other people's brushes. I want to use my own set of custom brushes. So I'm that way. I'm just that kind of artist with Photoshop and with with Rebel, and and I don't think there's, you know. I think that that's just how some of us are. We just have a very particular way we want to work and we want the brush strokes to look a very particular way. And so it's not a knock against Rebel. It's just a very, I'm just very specific with what I want in look and feel. So the good news is, is getting there and creating those brushes and making tools that work the way I want them to work. It is possible. It is easy. And, and you can see the results are, you know, they speak for themselves. I'm, I'm, I feel like the look I'm getting from, Rebel right now is on par with the look I can get from Photoshop. And I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do a comparison video showing Photoshop, showing Rebel, and even showing ArtRage just side by side and looking at, you know, painting the same exact painting and seeing, you know, what, what you can get with each one. Um, there are things that Photoshop is just magical. I mean, it, there are things it can do that are just so, so good. And what I want to do is compare uh, that with what I can get out of Rebel and, and, and also out of ArtRage because they all are super good and they all are um, incredibly fun to use. Uh, I found that I wasn't ever wanting um, when I was painting with Rebel. I was like, oh yeah, this, this, this is great. And like I said, it sort of sits in that middle space between ArtRage and Photoshop where it, Photoshop is 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 nothing compared to origin rebel when it comes to that natural media or wet media simulation photoshop just can't do it it just doesn't play that way so um and and then and then art rage is is very much like a dedicated to being that natural media simulator whereas rebel can kind of go both ways and um and i think it does it really elegantly i think you see that kind of um hybridization of of approach even in the i mean it's very distinct it has its own visual language around the user interface but you have like realistic looking brush tips and brush heads and pencils and so on up on that top left user interface where you see all the tools and then you have a very photoshoppy kind of um, situation with the uh, individual brushes so you you clicked on say the oil brush and then you get the sub menu for oil brushes down below. That's what you see, like all the different stamp brush heads and all my custom brushes and stuff. And those are really like similar to Photoshop where you're looking at the brush head or the stamp and you get in and edit the texture or whatever and you can see kind of how that works. Then um, then where though it's a lot more like art rage or like real or traditional painting is that when that brush hits the canvas, the canvas actually has like normal map and it picks up and the grain of the of of the paint and and the paper interact and the bristles interact with the bump on the the and tooth of the paper or the canvas and all that stuff is crazy awesome because it gives you that um, spontaneity and aliveness of real traditional paint and um, of course you can nullify that make everything super smooth and super super clean but I think for most of us artists that come from a traditional background we kind of enjoy having a, the option of, of playing with all of it, you know? One thing I would say is, is as, I, as I explore the software a little bit, I think one of the default settings with Rebel is that the impasto or like the, the kind of the chunkiness of the oil paint or the acrylic paint is so thick that it just, it just is too much for me. Like, I think it's, it's a little over the top. So I like to really um, tinker with some of those presets to get the look and feel that I want. And that's why I want to do some follow-up videos to just kind of talk about workflow and how I get what I get out of it and why I like that and, and how that works for me. 
And um, yeah, I just really think that there's some of the things around presets that I would have maybe done a little differently. Um, but it's not to say you can't just grab that slider and move it where you need it and it's perfect. Um, it's just all about what you want from the software. So here's a, you know, a painting of some, some boats in the harbor in Cinque Terre in Italy. And I love the, this scene. I've painted images of this scene many, many times. And so I felt like it was a good time to, to jump in here and give this a shot um, during this review because I did quite a lot of portraits and I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Um, I found that, again, like Photoshop, and, and I, I could get what I wanted from this really quickly. Um, I am not as experienced in painting in Rebel as I am in Photoshop or Art Rage, but I found that, you know, my my skills translated really well, and the the software is really easy to grasp. It was incredibly easy to get soft edges and hard edges and textured mark and smooth mark. It was easy to do composition lay, and it was easy to control the texture and pasto of the paint. It was easy to control the um, the uh, like the layers and the blend modes and it was easy to figure out which tools did what it was easy to all of it was easy intuitive and made sense there wasn't one time where i was like oh how do i do that that doesn't make sense where am i going you know i kind of just got it and and that's in part because i painted with rebel 345 and now the sixth version um but but really it's just a well organized well laid out tool um that has beautiful outcome. I, I'm a huge fan of the kind of work I can do with this. And I think you will be too. Rebel 6 is a total home run, the best product they've ever made. And I'm a huge, huge fan. So check it out.